Good morning, everybody. James here from the Dragon Blogger team with a very cool little stream for you guys today. We're going to be showcasing a bunch of products that we've uh, either I've had on hands or part of the team has had and have tested. Now, we're going to start this off with, of course, some uh, power stations. We're going to start it off with the EF EcoFlow portable power station. Uh, this is the River 2. Now, the River 2, of course, 256 watt hours of power with that LiPo 4 cells. Now, of course, our buddy Blake did the video for us, but I can actually talk about the product for myself because I have actually know the product. Now, the EcoFlow River is actually a beautiful little power station that does have multiple ways of connections. Uh, 600 watts of AC outlet connectability through this as well. You do have three USB-A ports and one USB-C port. That USB-C port is a 100 watt port of connectability. Could be fully charged in only an hour if you plug it into a wall outlet, of course. Now, with the amount of power that is on here, you should be able to run a little house fan for about four and a half hours, a three watt light bulb for about 20 hours, or charge your iPhone or your other phones for about 19 times. Now, with it, of course, Life Pro 4 cells is going to give you about 3,000 plus cycles, about a 10 year lifespan, depending on how many times you charge and discharge this product. Now, the even better part is, is it works with an app and that gives you convenience at your fingertip to use and run and connect and charge and turn on and off of these plugs. Now, you can also pair this up with, of course, some solar panels and not have to pay your electric bill whatsoever. You do have two AC outlets. One is a three prong standard. One is a two prong uh, with it as well. Everything is individual switch, has a nice little display. The display is gonna allow you to see, of course, your battery charge, your charge rate, and how many hours is left on that as you would run it. It's actually kind of cool with that. I kind of like that idea. Now with it, of course, you've got other multiple connections besides the ones that we just talked about, but you do have those connectabilities as we uh, go. Now with it, of course, it is a beautiful little piece of technology that's going to do well for a lot of you. Uh, you have, like I said, that USB-C port, two USB-A ports, a 12-volt 10-amp cigarette lighter plug, and those two other plugs. You literally could sit here and carry this all day with the 7 pounds of weight if you wanted. Now remember the output voltage is at 600 watts of connectability with that so you could technically run a mini fridge off of it or other devices. It is the perfect little device to add to your arsenal if you guys want a little power station to go around the house or camping or other ideas. Now we're also going to move over to the Anchor Nebula capsule. This is a smart capsule. This is a beautiful little projector. Uh, probably a me video. James here, and today we're taking a look nice. at a new product from Anchor. We don't need me talking. We're going to move over here where we're actually pulling it out. Now, it is a soda can sized designed product. 100 ANSI lumens brightness, 360 degree speaker sound. Four hour video time on low light setting. If you set it up on max, guys, you're going to get about two and a half hours of runtime with this. Now, we'll do about a 100 inch picture screen. Uh, it does have access to over 7,000 apps with the Android 7.1, uh, which means you guys can download pretty much any movie app that you want to watch, and it has that access. Now, this has some very other cool product pieces, like uh, the 400 to 1 contrast ratio, but it only does, guys, 480p resolution with this. Now, it is a DLP LED laser projector that's going to do well with that one 5-watt speaker uh, that does give you guys great sound. Now, it does have an HDMI input, a micro USB, and a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now, of course, that Bluetooth is a 4.2 or 4.0 model, which is going to give you guys about 70, 75 feet of connectability uh, with that. Now, you're also going to get about two and a half hour battery life, but with that Android 7.1, it's going to work out well for you. Now, it does have some hardware built in, like the quad-core uh, quad a7 smartphone chipset, 
Uh, it's also got an Andrino 304 GPU as well on top of that. One gigabyte of DDR and of course, eight gigabytes of hard drive space. The 5200 milliamp battery would and should last you a good amount of time. If you want to use it just as a Bluetooth speaker, you should get about 30 hours of playtime off of that Bluetooth speaker compatibility. Now, we're going to talk about it. This has about a 30,000 30, hours of lamp life, and that means you should be able to use it for about 10 hours a day, 6 to 10 hours a day for the next 10 years before it starts degrading inside that lamp life, which isn't a big deal. Now you're going to be seeing me right here using it on my wall. My wall is just a straight wall. There's the curtains are still open uh, right there in this video. So you're going to see how bright it really still is. I mean, it does look a little dull to the thing, but of course it is Mario I'm playing for that as well. But this thing is a phenomenal, phenomenal projector that you could definitely play video games, watch movies, whatever you want. Take this outside out back and do a movie night because it is portable. Put it in your pocket and take it home when you're done. It's got all of that uses that you would expect in a projector. Now it is a low lag connection, which is great because when you connect up that video game, you don't want to lag between it and the system. Uh, so you have that as well. A great little projector at a nice little price point. It's like 229. Now we're gonna go into some Eufy security systems. Eufy Cam S330, these are solar. I love the Eufy Cam 3 kit because it comes with these two 4K wireless security cameras that feature a 13,000 milliamp hour battery that is rechargeable with the built-in solar panel as long as you're receiving up to two hours of direct sunlight a day and even under the cloudiest conditions. This now guys, this is a two cam kit with a home base. The home base will allow you to record all of your software or all of your recordings straight to that. It does have two way audio, will do night vision, it does have all the mounting hardwares and will need to be plugged in. That's it. Guys, you'll plug the home base in. The solar, the cameras itself will not be because it has solar panels built on and you won't have to recharge that. I like that. The home base guys, depending on the home base version you have, It'll either work with an uh, SD card or a micro SD card. Uh, so you could put a 3.5, which is this one is, or a 2.5 SD micro or SD in there, and it can use up to two terabytes, which is actually phenomenal. Actually, I think this one can do about 16 terabytes if I can remember right. Um, I haven't had mine apart in a while, so it's one of those things. Now the app, the app is completely free. You don't have to pay for it. It is accessible and can be used with the app. You guys can literally view clips. You can do two-way audio, talk, and listen in. You can send push notifications to your phone or even push notifications maybe to the police if you really want it. The S330 Eufy Cam is a beautiful kit of system. Uh, definitely worth checking that one out. It's going to you know do very well. And at 20% off, that is another really great deal of a product today. Uh, it's one of those ones I use quite a lot. I have the cameras all throughout my house, and you can actually let's grab the system. Let's grab the phone. Let's grab my system. So right here, of course, you pull it up. You guys will be greeted with the corset. You guys will see that I have multiple cameras. Uh, they are offline because, well, let's be honest, I'm people are sleeping still. It's early. I uh, when I pop over, you guys can see my live video of the outside doors, and that one I don't care about because you guys can see that. You guys can do notifications, you can view it, you can range it, you can have it set up. The home base, of course, the home base is going to tell you guys how many cameras there are. It's also going to give you face management, AI power, and of course, show you guys the hard drive space that's left. If you want to go into the hard drive space, go in there and you can actually clear it to empty up your space. Maybe you guys don't need the video clips anymore. With that, it's a very easy and accessible app that's going to work well for that camera. It really is a beautiful little piece of technology. Now, I believe up next is going to be uh, this very the Fomimo label printer. This is actually a cool little label printer. We don't need the sound yet again. Uh, it's me. I know the product. All right, here, guys. Label printer, Fomimo. This is the M110 printer. I still have this thermal uh, laser printer or thermal printer. Uh, this is a cool little one. Rechangeable can be swapped out the styles of uh, stickers or labels that you put in it to print out. 
You guys can do like very cool designs or basic texting. You guys can do like DIY scans or do barcodes with it. Of course, my version is the orange one. Um, the one we're showing you guys today is, of course, the, in the three rolls of label print. Uh, they can be different size prints as well uh, with that. And that's kind of cool. The USB uh, connect with the PC means you guys can do it right off the PC and print through that. Or you connect up through the Bluetooth and just do it from your phone app with it as well. This means you guys can work with and make almost over 30 different kinds of labels. Uh, they do have like clear color, round, cabled style, uh, jewelry labels, and many, many more with that. The app will even do barcodes and everything else. It's a quick and easy connect up. Now, the app has over 100 plus templates already built in with even uh, different style borders, 18 different fonts, plus a thousand different icons. Now, it is a full action pack device for you that works just well. Now, this one's like 30, 33% off today. I think it's like 50, 54, 55 bucks with that. Now, with it, of course, guys, you can even put it on, like, make labels, let's say, oh, glass handle with care, you know, homemade, or even barcode or label with stuff around the house. Or be like me and just annoy your wife and label everything she owns. Just annoying things. I do crazy things sometimes. Just to, you know, see if I can push the envelope. Uh, so it's a cool piece. It's a great little awesome little option. Uh, great little printer, cool little colors. I mean, there's multiple colors and stuff versions. Uh, once you have it printed out, you guys can stick it to pretty much anything. I believe I probably stick it to my hat, but the, like, like just being me. But hey, you guys need a label printer right there, phone memo. And maybe you need a phone holder. Well, the phone holder right here is going to be the end. This is the end of phone mount. For Again, me, so don't need it. The Andoble phone holder is going to be able to hold your phone with a suction cup style of mount. Or you can use the air vent connectability that does come with it as well. Now, it does have military drop grade protection with that military strong car universal connection. Now, we're going to talk about it. You have a couple different ways to connect it. First and foremost, Dream Adhesion suction cup to the dash. Or you can use the suction cup to your windshield. Or you can use the included vent that's right there. And that vent will actually vent mount will clip around your air vent and connect pretty decently well. It should be able to hold about 20 kilograms, you know, about 20, you know, 20 kilograms. It's a good amount of weight. So you should be able to hold that. Now, the locking mechanism is super strong. It's going to connect into your phone. Cool thing is, is you can spin it to do like to portrait or horizontal mode. That's up to you. It should fit a phone case up to about an inch, an inch wide or inch thick. So it has a nice deep depth to it for it. Now it is positionable, can be adjusted, and it can hold, you know, 20 kilograms or 65 pounds of force on that suction cup. With it, you can fit a phone up to about six, uh, not six, uh, seven, seven and a quarter inches, if I can remember correctly off this one. I've done multiple of these ones, so I'm trying to remember this one. I believe it's seven and a quarter inch, uh, seven and a quarter inches long. Uh, 270 degree angleability, but 360 degree rota rotatable on this piece. Now you could fit a phone down to about four inches. So if you guys want to use like your classics, uh, like your classic iPods and stuff, yeah, you could technically probably connect those in. Not going to say that's the best idea for it, but you could technically do that. Now, it's a great piece, simple low connectability, awesome little options for you. Now, of course, we're just letting that video play so you guys can see the suction cup. When you peel it, it gets really, really sticky. The suction will then pop and stick to whatever you need. And that's where it's getting, you guys can see it actually has an adhesion to it. Cool part is if that adhesion gets a little bit dirty, you can wash it off and re-get it sticky again, so it's just that easy. You don't have to worry about it and get another one. It's just one of those things. Now, of course, you see right there how strong it is. I broke my nail. It's just one of those things. Name of the game. Adjust it. It has height adjustment. It also has, of course, depth or length adjustment. 
That is that front piece. Twist that and it will actually adjust outwards so it can reach towards you. Maybe you're a shorter person and you need that reach. Well, I'm going to tell you, you should be playing with your phone in the car anyways because that's the way I look at it. But if you need to, it's there. It gets you a little bit closer. Uh, definitely early. I'm still rubbing my eyes. But the phone mount, guys, the, the actual holder is quite nice and well. You'll actually close it by your hands, and then when you want it to release it, press the button. On the bottom, it has an extender that's going to extend down for longer phones, of course, with that. It's a great little piece. It's going to work out well for you. Put that ball pivot joint on there, connect it up to either the air vent or, of course, that piece, and you're good to go. Now, for the portable monitor side, we're going to talk here about we have right here. The KY this is the KYY 15.6 inch portable monitor. Now, the 15.6 inch portable monitor does come with, of course, a nice little carrying case. Uh, that carrying case is going to allow you to set it up with a monitor stand, and that's what that case is. Now, it's a magnetic case. This does have, of course, 15.6 inches of HDR colorability with the IPS display. Now it is a full 1080 full HD display for that. Now your colorways, we're gonna get into kind of some of the stuff because it is the style of monitor. It definitely needs to be talked about. Like the durability of the smart cover is actually really nicely done. Um, it does have, of course, screen protectors. Comes with the uh, one USB C to USB A cable, one USB C to USB C cable, one mini HDMI to HDMI cable and vice versa it does have a power adapter which is like your wall plug-in and stuff like that now you can either do what's called mirror mode uh you can also do of course where you just mirror or duplicate or a screen usage and um, that means you can extend your iphone or your other phones onto this if you wanted connect up your nintendo switch and start playing around you can put this in landscape mode or portrait mode with of course a little stand if you had that as well this is a cool one. It's a nice, bright, portable monitor that works well. And it weighs like literally less than two pounds. You don't have to worry about it with it. Now in this video, she does connect it up. She pops it over. You guys can see it as, of course, a fourth monitor on her PC. Now, uh, it scares me all of those plugs looking like that. Right there, guys, you can see it on the desk in use for you. That's actually a cool piece. I like that you can do that with and it does have speakers, so if you guys do need to do the sound quality tests and stuff like that, you definitely could probably do that as well. Now we're going to move over to the Life Pro 4 Speed Vibrating Ball. I'm holding this Agility Massage Vibrating Ball by Life Pro. It has four different settings. You have to press and hold to turn it on. And the first setting that you see is already lit blue you can now with this guys you get multiple speed settings which it changes the vibration with this now this could be used on the back of your neck or rolled around on your arms or pretty much whatever you want it's just a massage baller it's a massage ball roller uh, you definitely could even put it on the ground and like roll your neck back and forth or other different pieces or even roll it up and down your arms uh, it's a simple little product now, with it, of course, it's like a yoga therapy mobility. It's just one of those pieces. Uh, it's a super light ball. It doesn't weigh quite that much. Battery life is going to last you about two to four hours, depending on the number of speed that you're on, one through four. Now, it is uh, like a high firm nodules on this. It's got like, you know, auto shut off after a certain amount of time. So you don't have to worry about that as well. It's going to go from like 20 hertz to 60 hertz of vibration with this. Uh, of course, that auto shut off means you don't have to worry about the over stimulation of the massage with that. It's a simple little product right there, right? Now we can also show you guys the Nord of Eight boots right here. Nord of Eight men's military tactical work boots feature a rubber sole that make for excellent combat boots, which can also be used for riding motorcycles or hiking, for example. The work boots feature protection that both wraps around and supports the ankles and it features a YKK side zipper with a hook loop strap enclosure making it easy to take them on and off. All right. It really, really opens up the boot when you open up the zipper and it's easy to zip the zipper back up 
and uh, and put that little loop protection over it. Okay, hook loop strap closure, easy to take on and off. It features breathable fabric that allows you to keep your feet cool and dry, ensuring maximum comfort. All right, these Nord of Eight boots have a three sole system consisting of. Now with this guy, you do have a memory foam insert, which is actually kind of cool for standing on. You have a nice flexibility while still giving uh, stability while wearing them. Now, of course, you guys see this nice tan colorway. They also have other colors, but they do come in multiple sizes as well. You also have that nice, nice tight setup if you guys don't want to use a zipper on the side. Now, most of you are like me, you can leave your shoes pre-tied and just slip your shoes on and off. Because, well, hey, why not? Uh, and this will keep and allow for that with that zipper if you guys really wanted. Uh, these will work well in pretty much any setting that you need a set of boots for. In order of eight. Now we're going to show you guys the Duvo 360 laser, laser level. That's right, laser level. James here, and today we're taking a look at the Duvo Professional Four Plane. Now this is a four plane laser level, guys. This four plane laser level comes in this big carrying case. Now this big carrying case gives you everything you need to use with the laser level. Which means you don't have to worry about having other kits. You have one kit that will do it all. Now inside this, you're going to get a recharger, multiple batteries. The batteries are rechargeable as well. It should give you a good, uh, good usage time throughout the day before you need to swap it out. Now most of you are not going to be using this for like 10 hours a day. But if you do, it's got the extra batteries. Don't worry about it. Now it's got multiple connection pieces. And it also comes with, of course, glasses. Those glasses are kind of important because it's a green laser level. Now with this, of course, we're popping it up and we're showing you guys the user manual. We're also going to show you guys the green target. This is a wall target. This wall target is magnetic and can be screwed to the wall depending on how you guys want to use it. Wall target is kind of important. It helps you uh, connect up and make sure that your laser is on point. Now with this, you have a what's called, I like to call like a little scissor lift. Uh, this little lifting mechanism, of course, just, you know, screws and lifts the platform up and down. That's it. That's just for height. So if you guys are using just an already preset up piece, set it on there and twist it up. Get that little extra height that you need for that. Now, most of us may measure it to get that distance or height that we want it to be at. That's just us. Now, it does come with a full on system, though. This is going to work with larger tripods. Uh, or, of course, you guys can clamp it on to a 2x4 or connect it magnetic as well. It's got, of course, adjustments in multiple ways, height and, of course, size. You guys see I just popped it apart because that's me being me, not paying attention to what I was doing. Now, it has all of the adjustments with this, as you would expect, and a tripod connectability. Since it's, of course, rechargeable, you don't have to worry about cables running this device. Now, with it on that, you do have the multi-port or multi-plane connectability with the four 360, 16-line laser level. That's right. 16 lines of lasers that's going to work with this. You need, of course, to put the battery in, turn it on, and start using it. Once you turn it on, flip it on, you can actually check and connect up with your horizontal or vertical lines. You can do double beam, cross beam, or you can do multi-beam as well. Now, with it, if you guys want to use it as a repeater or extender, this is going to throw about 160 feet distance uh, with that. Now, that's a good amount of usability with that brightness of that light, of course. Uh, of course, you get a remote control. The remote control is going to allow you to turn on the horizontal or laser, uh, vertical lines. You double tap, it's going to give you the extra lines on top of that with that. Now, right here, you guys can see all the lines, the cross beams and everything else with this. So that is where you're going to get the multi-line usability with this one. Uh, it's actually really good laser level right there. It works really, really surprisingly well for that. Really do like that. I'm going to show you guys uh, Comfier heated knee brace wraps. Uh, these knee brace wraps actually massage by vibrating your knees. They do vibrate. Guys, this is a simple setup. Comfier rechargeable, plugged in style, and heating knee braces. Now with this, of course, you get multi-intensities and multi-levels of heat. Just going there with it. Now you have five modes of comfort on this, about 30 minute timer, uh, of course, with that. Now you have two adjustable heating levels, low and high. I uh, should get up, it should reach about 130 degrees Fahrenheit in about 15 minutes. 
but it will start feeling warm in under three minutes of time with no problem. It's got about 16 inches of length. It will reach about 20, 21 and a half inches round with this. And that's just the way it is. Now at the bottom part of the calf, you're going to get a max of reach about 17 and a half inches. Same with the top is about a max of 20. Uh, that means your upper thigh, of course, and your bottom calf. Now the five modes of vibration, pulse, continuous, quick pulse, wave, and mixture of the vibrations. Uh, 30 minute shutdown means you don't have to worry about it. That's all there is. Right there's your course reusability, does need to be plugged in, and all of that other jazz. Confier leg massages. Now it fits on you, it will do well, it will connect up. You don't have to worry about all that stuff. You see me fight with it because, well, that's just the way I do. Uh, usability is, works out well for you. Plug it in, start using it, get that massage where you need it, as you need it. Now we're going to show you guys the Comfier heating pad right here. What I got here is not a wrestling belt, but in fact it is a heating pad by Comfier for your back or your front, I guess. You can wear it whichever way you like. Now it has a really soft material on both the front and the back side. It has a nice little comfier branding on the outside of the device as well. And this just has a few motors in it that offers a nice vibrating effect when you put it on your front or your back. Now, this thing is pretty small on its own. Look. This thing's pretty small on its own, okay? But it does come with a little extension pad. It has two different pieces of Velcro uh, as well as two different pieces on the belt itself or on the heating pad itself actually has three so you can really get the uh, secure fit that you need now i think i'm only going to be a two strap boy today and we can put this on put it on my back like this all right so we just put this on okay feels feels good it's nice and i just reposition it because i want it right here on my lower back now hopefully we can submit this shoppable okay hopefully we can submit this shoppable but i want you to see that it does come with an included ac plug and you just plug it in to guys you plug it in and start adjusting it to the temperature you want and of course it'll start going with that multi-intensities right you have the connectability with this it's going to do what you need as you need it now it doesn't even have to just be used for the back now it does will in extend up to about 58 inches round with the extension parts. Without the extension parts, it's not that long with it. Now, two heating levels up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, just like the last one. Three modes and two intensity levels. It's going to do like what's called corded vibrating or massager and all of that. This is actually a cool little piece. Now, it is a silky velvet cloth with the uh, extending hemming, durable Velcro, the one thing is, is you're using heating, guys. You're going to probably sweat on it, and you're going to have to clean it every so often. It's just one of them things. Now, it is not, let me repeat, not machine washable. Now, of course, we're going to move on over to the Asdom dual dash camera, but we're going to pop over here before we get to that. Guys, a bunch of great products, a lot of great deals today. These are all, like, uh, amazing, amazing deals. Before that, we're going to go on to a dash camera that's, like, 70% off normally about a hundred dollars it's like twenty nine dollars today now this is what's called the asdom dual dash camera it's a front and of course rear dash camera system take a look at now, the asdom dual let's be honest this was a me video so we can pop over here and talk about this this is a cool little piece this little dash camera and of course backup camera kit all in one now it's got a two and a half inch ips screen with a free 64 gigabyte sd card that goes into it now with it, waterproof backup camera, night vision, parking monitor, G sensor, uh, perfect for pretty much anything. So it's got a six glass lens with a Stravis sensor with an f2.0 aperture inside that lens. Now it also has what's called parking grid lines. The parking grid lines are going to help you back in and park into the slot as you need it. Now the one thing I'm going to tell you is it's a literally a three inch to 2.5 ID display. That three inch display is not the world's biggest display. So do make sure that you check your mirrors as you're backing up because let's be honest, no one wants to flip their mirror on a car, uh, but it does do well for you. Now with it, of course, though, it does record to an app or to the SD card, which is great. Uh, that three inch 2.5 D curve display, IPS display is kind of cool. 
150 degree field of view, 1080p full HD. Uh, night vision works well. Uh, G sensor is kind of cool. The way the G sensor works is if your car is shocked, uh, like shaking or something, it will start clip recording and save that as it goes. Now it's also got what's called ATIS, which is your like your lane display or lane splitting uh, sections. Uh, it's got what's called fatigue driving assist or alert as well. It will tell that you are being like um, you know stay you know positioned way too long, not moving your head and stuff. Uh, which is kind of, to me that's kind of a different piece. Uh, my car already does that stuff, so I don't have to worry about that. Now dual dash cam, you will have to run cable. Right? That's 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 all I'm gonna say. You're gonna have to run cable. Whether it be just leaving the cables out or hiding them, it does come with a trim panel tool that's going to allow you to do that and hide your pieces behind everything. The one piece I will tell you guys, if you don't like the suction cup, you can get a permanent sticky mount for this. You can also get the Asdom three let uh three lead ACC hardwire kit where you can permanently hardwire it in as well on top of that. Now, it does come with a nice cabling kit that's already pre-set up in there. Uh, it's a good dash camera. This dash camera worked out very, very well. Uh, nice price, too. Like That's a crazy price point. It's like 70% off. Now, we're going to move back to the EcoFlow power stations. We're going to show you guys the big boy. This is going to be the Delta Max 2. My friends and Nate. Yeah, we don't need Nate talking because I know the product. The Delta Max 2 is actually a nice, beautiful little power station. 2400 watt hours of power, uh, LifePo 4 cells, full solar generator. It means you guys can plug in a solar charger into this. Now, this one actually allows for extra batteries to be connected up. You do get four USB A ports, two USB C ports, and 100 watts max charging capability. If you guys want to, you can plug this in and be fast. It's got a fast charger. So it can 0 to 80% full uh, charge in about 1.1 hours, of course, with that. If you are using, like, let's say, solar charging from the solar panels, if you have the proper panels, uh, that, of course, is based off 1,000 watts of solar input, two and a quarter hours fully charged. That's a lot of solar panel there. Now with it, of course, guys, you have a bunch of different run times and stuff you can use off of this. Let's say you guys want to run your microwave, about an hour and a half of runtime with the microwave. A 500-watt blender, about three hours or three-quarter hours. Your 120-watt refrigerator. Now, 120-watt refrigerator is going to be about 14 hours. If you're your standard double-door 520-watt uh, refrigerator, it's going to be a couple hours of runtime, right? Now it does have six US or AC outlets on the back that's going to allow you to connect up a lot of different stuff. Rather it be uh, just a standard, you know, house plug or lamp or your Nintendo or charging your phones. It has all those capabilities. Do know though, it does weigh 50 pounds. It does not have wheels. You are carrying this around. 50 pounds of weight is what it is. All right, a little piece. Now, we're going to talk about some 3D printing, the Anchor Make M5C. Hey, everyone. I mean, the Force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the Anchor Make M5C. I am waiting with bated breath to get this thing set up. Now, this is all the parts that comes with it. It's very easy to assemble, actually. All you have to do is put that top slot into the base and then basically screw it in. This is the magnetic panel that it comes where your prints are going to have. And then it also comes with very straightforward instructions in this assembly guide that not only shows you how to get it set up calibrated but also how to um, make sure you have your filament set up and ready to start printing now as you can see here once i have the printing portion into the base i have to simply make sure that it's screwed in and then move those connections to make sure that they're plugged in so it can print appropriately once i get it set up it takes a total of about two to four minutes or so it doesn't take that long all you're doing is really just screwing and putting in a panel it didn't take long at all and then you get the filament fed in and then you are ready to start now one thing that is important is to make sure that you let the auto leveling go it's got a auto level on 49 different points and it actually doesn't take that long it says about 10 minutes and it really does take you know about 10 minutes to do and once it's auto level it is ready to go i'll show you some of the auto leveling process here but in the end you're going to see a 
sped up time lapse version of the first print that I did and it sped up a hundred times speed the total print time was just about four hours and so I hope you guys enjoyed that but overall the anchor make m5c is just a fantastic really awesome 3d printer for those who are both seasoned and a beginner to the world of 3d printing and i would highly recommend this to anyone who's looking to get into 3d printing and want now with this guy's just sitting right here he's doing that his first print now the 100 times speed of course picks it up and it starts going now it is of course going to take four hours with this to do this print as you go now it does print very very nicely and well that bed auto heats, of course, as well with that adhesion. And then you have the magnetic removable plate that will allow you to pop off your product as you go. Now, the one thing I will say, though, is as you're going, it's going to have a timer. The timer will tell you what's left. I'd also tell you guys how many milliseconds in the adhesion and, of course, the grams that it's going. It also tell you the nozzle heat and everything else in between with this. Now the print, as you keep going, is going to, of course, make whatever creation that you're doing with this. Now with it, of course, he's doing like the skull and, of course, spider legs on it. Uh, it's just a nice little print that he started off with, of course, to do it. Once you're up and done, you have a great little 3D print that you guys can use for whatever you want, rather it be any setting or not, uh, which is kind of cool. It's a great little idea, awesome little product, of course, right there. It does say 100% done, and it says hinged skeleton with of course right here so once it's done you'll pop it up you'll turn that off and then you'll pop the plate and you'll grab your product now if there are little hairs or anything you guys can clean those hairs without a problem it's just the way it works 3d printing at its best with an anchor make m5c 3d printer now this can work all the way up to about 500 mill millimeters a second of a uh, print if you really wanted um, most of you are not going to print at that high speed. You're probably going to go a little lower than that. If you print at a higher speed, you can definitely do it. Now, I have 3D prints around here all over. And in fact, actually, one is not lit up. If I pop over there, you can actually light this one up. Let's see if I can get this one. That is actually a 3D print right there, that nice and straight. Uh, which does light up and actually is very cool. Uh, so 3D Prints has its place and can do some very, very amazing stuff if you guys want to get it. Uh, we're going to talk about the Tozo okay, we're taking a look. A1s. Uh, these are actually really decently well done earbuds. Now the Tozo A1 earbuds are a Bluetooth 5.3 connectability. Now that Bluetooth 5.3 means you're going to have a nice connection that's going to work out well for you and have a good distance of connectability. Now, the Tozo A1 comes in multiple colors from black, blue, I believe green, I believe khaki, and of course some others. Good morning, Sandy. How are you doing? Now, you can also get it, of course, paired up with a watch if you guys really want it as well. I, yeah, I wake up at 4.30 every day. <laughs> I'm up at 4.30 every morning. Uh, I'm an early riser. It's just my... My, my body is just one of them people. I just, I get up really early. I'm up every morning. Now, this earbud set actually has what's called the Tozo Orgix Acoustic Technology built in, uh, which is kind of a way of calling the diaphragm or the way the diaphragm is built. It's a multi-layered diaphragm with this, guys, that's going to send the sound to different chambers to produce different sounds for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's one of those things. Yeah, I'm usually up about 4.30, 4.40-ish. Uh, my body says it's time to get up, and then that's just what, the way it works. Uh, for the next hour, I sit there, and I wonder if I should get online and start doing stuff or if I should just stare at walls having my peaceful, quiet time. <laughs> Guys, good battery life with this. IPX5 uh, waterproof or water resistant. It's not IPX6. Uh, it does have some water resistance, so you could technically use it while working out and everything. Uh, six hours of battery life on the earbuds itself, 24 hours back up with the case. Now, I will tell you, though, these actually produce a really decent, good sound quality for an earbud. And they fit in your ear very well. It does come with multiple ear tips. The ear tips are going to be one of those things. It's hit or miss. Now, you guys have noticed that I only use one earbud when I'm sitting here. 
Uh, that's the way I work. And that's because I like to hear stuff around me. You can do that with these earbuds and extend the battery life out. And that's what I do with mine. So I don't have to recharge them all the time while I'm sitting here streaming. Now, I use these earbuds for feedback on the videos. Sometimes we don't, the, like, I don't know the sound's working or not. And I, sometimes I just don't play the sound at all. Uh, but with this great earbud set, beautiful battery life. It works fundamentally very well at a great price point. It's like $15 earbud set. You can't break your wallet with these. Honestly, you're not going to break your wallet. If you have kids that go through a lot of these, uh, our tendency to lose a lot of these, having these on hand at this price point is actually a good deal. Now, the pairing process, and we can talk about the pairing process. Quick and simple, pull up your Bluetooth connectability, open the case, and it will go into pairing mode. Once it's paired up, you don't have to worry about it again. Now, the Bluetooth technology is what's going to, it kind of supports like what's called HSP or HFP. It also supports A2DP and AVRCP, if I can remember correctly off that one. Uh, so it has a good enough connectabilities. That's actually a nice and protected connection once it's paired up. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. But a great battery life at a great price point. These earbuds do well. Now, it's not the world's loudest bass, but it does do a nice all well rounded sound. Uh, this is going to be sound better in, let's say, like uh, classical rock than it is dubstep. But it can do dubstep nonetheless. It's just not going to produce that extreme bass snaps that you would expect in a dubstep sound system. But it does do well. So the Tozo A1 Minis, and they're super light too. That's the best part. The A1 Minis are light. I believe I'm supposed to show you guys the Vibor 23 liter large capacity uh, hot warmer. This is for like uh, hot rags and stuff for that. Maybe you guys have a little spa and you like to give hot rags. Or maybe you guys have a hair salon and do, of course, hot facial shaves. That's going to help you with that. This is the 23 large capacity hot warmer by Vibor. And it has a see-through window. So oh, we'll the there are some information about what you can use and how to operate, but it's really simple. So there's the power button and the other button is for sanitizing, for sterilizing. So inside, it's really a lightweight unit. You see, I can just pull it, but it has two drawers and a catch any drips or whatever so you now with this guys you can literally stack up a lot of warm rags or even just you know like blankets and that's kind of cool like if you ever went to a, like a, let's say a hospital and got one of those nice little warm blankets that's pretty much what these come out of uh, it comes out of a bigger version of this a nice big warmer uh for that but like if you've ever been to a spa or like a wash a restaurant they give you a hot rag same idea it's going to allow you to heat up that or get a nice steamed rag, which means you guys get a nice little facial clean or wash your hands. It's up to you how you do it. Now, it does come, of course, with that little clip or the little uh, ice collector or whatever you want to call it, tongs. Uh, that's a little tongs. It's definitely early today. Uh, to grab those rags out so you don't hurt yourself, does have multi-heat sensing or systems. Great little idea, nice little option, definitely meant for, you know, I mean, yeah, you could use it at home with definitely, but most people aren't going to use these in their house settings. And I'm just saying it now. Now, I believe we're going to be showing you guys some ESR products, probably a magnetic watch with geo, yeah, geo connectability. This is a cool one. I don't need the video to play sound. May the force be with you, Nikato. Now with this, this is, of course, the ESR MagSafe Geo Wallet. The ESR MagSafe Geo Wallet works with, of course, the Find Me app. Now that means you guys can connect this up and find your wallet. And that's the cool part. It does have what's called a little ring holder. It's going to turn your phone into a ring holder. Now, it's not going to be the world's largest wallet. It's going to hold a couple cards and maybe a couple bills on it. That's it. All you're going to get from this. So it's a magnetic wallet, but it has a convenient kickstand. It can do, of course, whatever you need. It can actually track it. So let's say your tendency to lose your wallet or your phone. 
Well, you go into the track me mode and it will actually track the system. Now it's going to have a nice battery life. You're not going to have to charge it uh, too often, but you will have to charge it every so often. It is a three prong magnetic clip to do that though. Uh, it does come with the cabling for that. So do not lose that cable. It's not like you're going to just plug a USB-C into this or not. Now the tracking it is actually kind of cool because it literally works like an Apple AirTag uh, to track that. Bubberman, what's up, buddy? What's Bubberman doing this morning? And right there's your power button. You'll turn it on to go into pairing mode. You're going to the Apple Find Me. You'll add other device. It will start searching and it'll pop up the device once it's in pair mode. Uh, once you do that, of course, you'll pair it up, connect it up, and you're good to go. Literally, it's going to work off the uh, track me system, which means it bounces off other phones to tell you about where the distance is. Now, it's kind of creepy to some people, but kind of cool to those of those that lose their stuff a lot. I like them, not that person. Uh, but yeah, it has it. You guys can name it, well, uh, whatever, label it, or label it whatever you want with it. So, ESR, great little product, nice little piece, has its definite place for those of you guys. That have those those abilities. Bubber man, what's up, buddy? How are you doing this morning? And now we do have another ESR product. This is, of course, the kickstand, MagSafe kickstand right here. Uh, just another little piece. Of James, here, we're taking a look at the kickstand. Whoa, it's that James guy. Now, this is also a 10,000 milliamp kickstand power bank. So what that means is you can charge your iPhone at the same time of using it as a kickstand. Now... I'm also going to tell you is I've been looking for this device for the last couple weeks. I cannot find it. I know it's in the stuff because I did, I did reorganize my closets. I know it's in there and I have a feeling it's a very, in the very bottom bin and I don't want to pull it out, but it's there. It's got, it's cool. Nice, super strong magnetic connection will work with, of course, your phone cases. As long as your phone case is mag safe. Remember, MagSafe is actually where it's at because if it's not MagSafe, well, it's not going to connect magnetically properly. You want that adhesion. Now, with it, of course, it's got a nice little buttons on the bottom or lights on the bottom. It's going to show you guys the charge level of that device. So if it's 25% charge, 50%, 75%, or 100% charge, that lighting will tell you. And since it's 10,000 milliamps, you're going to get over two charges on your iPhone 14 Pro Maxes. Most of your Pro Maxes are a 4,500 milliamp battery. That's a cool little piece that works fundamentally perfectly well for you. Uh, it's just a great little option. Now we're going to bounce down to, I believe, the Yosuda Magnetic Water Rower. I believe that's what, where I'm at today. This Yasuda Indoor Rowing Machine is an absolutely fantastic workout and fitness product that once you put it together with only 10 screws and about 20 minutes of time, you could fold it up just like this. All you have to do is unscrew the locking mechanism and the pin, so you just screw this in at the bottom here, and then it stays folded up in a vertical position. doesn't take long. Now, guys, this is one of the among, uh, among the most foldable designs out there for one of these, which is actually kind of cool. It does fold up very well and is, of course, movable. Has nice large wheels, so you can actually roll it around and put it away. Has those nice little pads. It's going to help keep your uh, floors looking great while working out. Now, with it, it is a magnetic style of rower. It is going to work out all those core muscles throughout your whole back, your legs, and your arms through the way rowers work. Of course, now with it, it does have a digital display. The display is going to allow you to see how many calories you earned and burned, the time spent, the amount of miles rowed, and, of course, how fast you are rowing. Now, with that, adjust that magnetic resistance to the liking, and you guys will have the workout you need. Now, it also has a tablet slash phone holder for the people that want to maybe look at water while rowing or chat with somebody or watch a show. It has all of that. Now, you can also connect it up to, of course, some apps and you can challenge other people. That is up to you. Or maybe you guys want to do a virtual class while you're doing it at home while you feel like you're in there. Set it up and you're good to go. It has all of those pieces. Now, it is actually quite, quite quiet. It's not the loud device. So you can actually use this while other people are in the room, maybe watching the show or something else. Now, 
that's kind of a, a great selling point to know that you can still use this while people are around. I kind of like that idea. Uh, it's a great little idea to be able to row and do all that. Now you're going to see him jump off here. Of course, his son jumps in and you're going to see the dogs join in as well. Uh, it's just one of those things. Now, of course, you're going to get your strides into the way you want, depending on how you work. And if you guys have a uh, rambunctious dogs like this, of course, they're going to be like, oh, let me in there. Let me in there. Uh, that's just the way it's going to work, of course. Uh, great little piece. Awesome little option if you guys need. Now, that one's actually about $284 today. It's like 15% off. Good little price point. Now we're going to show you guys the Yosuda Pro Climber that What is up everyone? Shifted. Jeff here and today I'm going to be unboxing, assembling, and using this Yosuda Elliptical Climber. Let's see what's in the box. And here we have the contents of the box. I was honestly expecting a lot more pieces than this and everything was very well packaged. I will say it did take me about 15 to 30 minutes to unpackage everything and get it in this state but once you get it out of the box, there's not that much. Let's well, hopefully I muted that now. time. I, I also just wanted to include this real quick. Assembly was super easy, and every single step had its um, pieces laid out in the assembly instructions, which I thought was super cool. I do recommend two people for installation. It just makes it a little bit easier. And while this does come with everything you need to install it, if you have your own set of Guys, it's going to take you about 20 to 30 minutes to install everything. It should be pretty straight and simple. A couple bolts here and there, and you're up to go. Now with this, again, magnetic resistance has the digital screen that's going to allow you to see calories aren't and burn. When you adjust that magnetic resistance, it's going to burn and work out for you better and more easier. This is like climbing stairs. Like if you ever climb stairs, you know... The steeper the stair, the harder the climb. Adjust it down, you can stride a little quicker. Now with this, you can actually do it uh, where you have your hands mobile, uh, moving with it, or you can put it up top and just have stable hands. Uh, when you do the stable part, it's got these actual little metal pieces that's going to take track of your heart rate with that. And that's kind of cool because it can actually do your heart rate on the system. Now, it still has, of course, that phone holder and everything, but it also has a water bottle holder just in case you guys need a sip of water uh, or if you're going at it really well. Simple little piece, nice little product with that one, of course, from Yosuda. Now, on top of that, we're going to show you guys another rower, uh, magnetic rower that Nikita did. Now, right I'm here, guys. I'm blogger here to show you a Yosuda really magnetic awesome magnetic rower. rower by Yosuda. I have always been a big fan of Yosuda, so I was super excited to finally add this magnetic rower to my home gym. As you can see here, all the pieces that come inside the box ready to be assembled. The assembly process was super easy. It took me about 15 minutes to build the whole thing, just kind of vibing in the zone. But I was super excited, so that probably rushed me just a little bit. And this is what the amazing bad boy looks like after it has been completely assembled. It is so amazing i love the fact that it includes a nice little like bracket at the front that you can use to kind of mount a tablet or a phone while you're working out and so you can kind of stay entertained while you're working out now this is the mode button which will show you a whole bunch of different analytics the batteries are already in there ready to go once i got it started i still have the plastic on the screen now with that guys you have your calories burned and earned your distance your time and everything in between with this Set it up, strap your feet in. It does have straps. You guys can use the straps. It has a nice gliding wide seat. Uh, can be folded up and put away just like the last one that we showed you. Uh, another great point. Now, remember, 350 pounds is your weight limit on this device. Once you set it up and go, you're going to start working out all of those core muscles as you would expect with that. Now, it's a cool little piece that's going to allow you to do it as you need it when you want to work out. So if you guys need, the Yosuda is a great little option. Now we're going to move over to the Sports Royale Stair Stepper that I actually did. Uh, this is kind of a cool little piece that you can use pretty much wherever you need. I now that we have it on the floor, you guys can see you'll step on once. You'll take your... You're going to step on it and you're going to start stepping. Now what this works is that it's going to actually just do that. It's stepping. Now there is some slight adjustments to make it feel a little bit uh, higher of a step, but not much more. Now, it also has some bands, has resistance bands that you can actually strap to this. 
to work out your arms as you're going with that. And that's kind of cool. Uh, they clip on very easily, very simply uh, with that one. Now, of course, once you have it down there, of course, it's the way it works. Now, I question why this video shows you guys it on the floor. Um, not sure why the edit it went that way, but hey, that's just what happens. Once you're in there, you guys are going to see, of course, the display. It's going to show you guys the amount of steps, time spent, and of course, calories earned or burned as well. Nice large feet sets. Now, you can fit a nice large feet. I wear a size 13 shoe, and my foot fits on this perfectly well, so you don't have to worry about that. Connect up that resistance band, and you guys have, the, of course, the other workout with that. It's simple. It's easy. It's just a great little piece to get a workout in. And you don't have to have the, you know, 400 pound system in the corner of your house while doing this. All right, there's your resistance. That resistance is going to adjust, of course, the actual stepping or the spring or shock with it. That's the height. So once you're doing that, you're up, stepping around, and you're doing, of course, everything. Once your hands are going and going and going, and that's just the way it works. So gives you all that workability as you need and, of course, you use it. Now we're going to move over. We're going to show you guys a video where, of course, Tate or Nate, if you guys don't know who Nate is from the team, uh, he makes a fool of himself in this video. Oh, Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back with another product from Vince Greer. We're going to be taking a look at their ab roller. I'm not really sure where they got a photo of me, but I guess it's pretty cool for them to kind of give me a shout hey, out Jim. on the box. So what we're going to do is just open this up and take a look. At now, this is an ab roller, guys. You're going to take it out. It's going to have a wheel. It's going to have a handle and, of course, some grips. You're going to have to put all that together. It's simple. It's quick. It's also got a little plate that's going to sit on the ground that's going to allow you to roll around and use it, of course, with the ab roller. Now, ab roller is going to take some use, getting used to for people that aren't used to it because literally you're going to be like literally rolling out and back and forth like you're doing push-ups but with a wheel. Uh, the stability of that, of course, if you guys aren't really stable, it may take you a little bit, so don't hurt yourself. Now, with it, of course, has a nice large polyurethane wheel that's going to roll around quite easily well on your floors. If not, it comes with this little pad. That pad is what's going to help it roll. Otter, what's up, buddy? And there's the guy right there that was daydreaming about him being on a box. His ears must have been burning. <laughs> How you doing, Nate? What's up, buddy? Ah, uh, and Nate decided to pop in. That, that, it's a Nate. Still wondering why my carousel ain't swapped yet, because it's been pushed. <laughs> you almost got off work? Well, go to bed. I mean, eat some food. Yeah, something like that. Hi guys, Ab Roller. It's a simple little product. You guys can do it with your legs out or with your knees on the ground. That's up to you. Uh, knees on the ground is probably more for the beginner uh, person. Legs out is for the more advanced person. Now with it, of course, it's going to roll pretty decently well. It's got a nice large wheel to roll. Uh, it's going to definitely work out those core abs and, uh, of course, your arms and leg muscles. With this one. Right on, right on. Long time no see, buddy. What if I go food and eat from bed? Well, that's up to you. I mean, if that's what you really want to do is eat your bed, I don't know how tasty your mattress is going to be. But, hey, that, that's all on you, buddy. All on you. Or, or just tell that little doggo of yours to share some dog food with you. All right, guys, we're going to show you guys a dumbbell rack. I actually don't know this product, so we're going to let it play. On Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the Akayan Dumbbell Rack Stand. This thing is absolutely amazing for holding all of your home gym equipment. Currently, I don't have the most dumbbells, but I do have other weight equipment. It's kind of old and rusted, but this thing Later, does buddy. a perfect a job one. at holding all of it. I had put all of this stuff on a shelf inside of my garage, and now I'm able to organize it all in one place, and it actually does really help. I can't wait to get a set of dumbbells to use this thing on. I just wanted to demonstrate and show you just how much space you can save with this thing so if you're looking for a really easy to build really functional weight rack for dumb right there simple little weight rack that's going to allow you to set up your dumbbells maybe you guys already have pre-set up weighted dumbbells it'll allow you to set up multiple sets maybe you know up to five sets with that that's kind of cool and since it is adjustable it can be moved and moved around and set pretty much anywhere you want with that 
Now we're also going to show you guys, I believe, the Vinsgore uh, electric wrist or, or elastic wrist straps. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, these, of course, are called the lifting straps or weight straps. Uh, they are elastic, will help you wrap around your bars. Look at that. Here showcasing these Vinsger deadlifting weightlifting straps that are used for barbells. Now what these straps do is you wrap them around your wrist and they have good padding to help alleviate any of the pressure and strain uh, on your hands and actually transfer some of that force to your wrists. You also wrap them around the barbell multiple times and it gives you a better grip on the barbell when you're doing lifting or deadlifts. Now I don't have any weights on my barbell so I'm just testing it on my barbell without the weights but I'll kind of show you how they are and how they work. Putting the straps on I found to be a little bit, you know, uh, tedious because I hadn't used them before. But you just basically wrap them around, slide them through, adjust them, and turn it over. They have a left and a right on each. Now, they are going to be a little tedious for the beginners, but once you guys learn how to do it, you should be able to do it quite easily well. Uh, you do have to strap in, and then you'll take the little wrap, and you'll wrap it around the bar, and you're going to wrap it around a few times to make sure it's nice and snug. Now, what this is going to do is help you guys keep it nice and snug tight. So it's going to help you get that grip as you need. Now, uh, chalking up your hands might help as well. For those of you that are a little worried, maybe don't use it. But once you have it there, you guys can actually strap your hands in and go. Now, of course, with that, you have a nice little strap that's going to help give you adjustability and uh, get you to get that lift up easier. Uh, it's just a simple little piece, guys, for that product. Now, I believe we have a massage pad up next. Right here, we have the Snail X Shiatsu Neck and Back Massager with heat, guys. Now, this is a full back massaging it. chair. Uh, it does have this beautiful little cover that can be pulled off to clean. has the nodular balls to, of course, massage your neck up here with this. And, of course, the heated padded seat. Now, with this, you do have nodular balls. Now you do have the nodular balls that are going to go up and down with the massage. It does have a remote control. The remote control is going to allow you to adjust the intensity, the style of massage, and of course the heating with this. Now it does have, of course, a removable back that's going to allow you to wash that. It also has a removable top. Now it also has a different massage nodulars up the head as well. It's going to like give you those massages that you need. They do light up when they are in heat mode, which is kind of cool with that. Uh, you set it up, and you guys will see the actual top start massaging for the back of your neck and your head. Cool little idea with this. Now, it can be used like I have in a wall plug or in a power station. That's up to you. Uh, power station is just a standard wall plug, but I did it on video viewing purposes. But it's a great little piece. Now, what you didn't see in this video is me sitting on it using it, and that's because, well, I wanted to show you guys the actual whole thing and not just me sitting there and being like, yes, it works well. Now, this does work very, very well. I still have this product. It works decently well. That you should work perfectly. Now, you can use it in more than one place. I have it set up on my computer chair, but you definitely could set it up. Uh, maybe you guys want to put it on like a couch or something. You could set it up on the couch and do it there as well. A uh, nice little piece. Awesome little option. Great price point, too. It's like 24% off. Now, we're going to show you guys the Tiscare foot massager that I have. Today, we're taking a look well. at this. Now you're going to see that I'm actually using another Jackery power station to run this device as well. Now this one's like 41% off today with this product. Now the Tiscare massager can be used on your feet, your calves, or even your hands or your arms if you wanted with this. It has the adjustability. It does have a remote control. The remote control is going to do the multiple mode, the heat levels, the intensities, and of course the timer. Same thing the front of that screen is going to do with this. Now with it, of course, you guys can adjust it. It's got airbags that are inflating and deflating around you to give that massage in, the massage to help uh, help get that blood or promote the blood to circulate more as you go in. Now, this is actually great for people that are sedentary too, so if you guys want to get that massage on there or the legs. Five levels of air compression, two heat levels, three rolling massage modes with this, and of course, 15-minute to 30-minute timer as well now of course you guys can set your foot in there actually my big feet fit in this well which is kind of cool uh some of these things i cannot fit my 13 inch foot in this one i was easily able to fit my foot into not a problem now another cool thing is is you guys like i said you guys could put your calves in there or you could put your arms in there on a table if you wanted i uh, you just stretch it out and set it up it's got an adjustable leg that will help you angle it to the angle you want 
to give you the massage you need. Now, it does weigh about 18 and a half pounds to do melt. Now, 360 degree adjustable bar, which works well for this, but a nice little massager. Honestly, this is a good one. Uh, and again, 41% off, normally like $289 to $169 a day. It's actually a decent deal for that. And here I am, I'm gonna readjust it so you guys can see it go into, of course, the calves. Uh, now, I do recommend putting the calves in probably a different angle, but you guys can definitely do the calves right here. So if you need, right there from Tiscare. Now, for those of you that would prefer to get a hand massage instead, we have, of course, the Syncom hand massager. Kidding me. Nope. Hey, y'all, this is the Syncom hand massager, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing so we can see what comes with it because I've yet to use it. But Now, the Syncom hand massager is a rechargeable massager that does not need to be plugged in. It has a 15-minute timer and, of course, can be usable. It does come with a carrying bag. also comes with some plastic little wraps. Those are going to be your gloves. Because it does heat up and you guys don't want to put your sweat inside this because you can't clean the inside out. It does come in four different colorations as well for about 45% off, like $55. Now with this, this is actually going to be great. Now it needs it needs the fingers and does airbag massagings with this. The airbag, of course, presses around your hand as you go. You're going to do a single hand at a time though with this one. Now, on the palm of the hand, there is a little modular ball to set your palm over to help with that palm massaging as well on top of that. Now, three intensity levels, three uh, program modes, also two heating levels. It's all indicated by the lighting on the buttons with this. Uh, it's going to take about three seconds to hit the power button to power it on, and you do have to press it for three seconds for that, same as shutting it off. Now it has four massage heads built into it with the airbags on hand. 2200 milliamp battery. It's going to give you about four hours of usage time off a charge. Now, technically, you can plug it in and use it while it's plugged in. That's up to you. It uses a USB C. It is considered ambidextrous or ambidextrous, so you can actually use it on a left or right hand. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Now, right here, you see him lifting it up. I don't recommend that, but you could do that. It's just going to make the massage not as great as it could be, but it will do the massage nonetheless. Uh, cool piece right there, honestly. Just a very cool one. Right there, look at that. Look at that. He's just playing with buttons. Now, once you have it set up, guys, get that massage out, change it around, and flop it around. That's up to you. This works well. Even use a massage oil if you have the gloves. Now, how about a laser hair removal tool? Uh, gonna be a me video. I know this one. This Here, is the I... taking a look at this very cool hair. You like Air 3 IPL laser hair removal tool. Now, this does come with the razor, the glasses, and the laser removal tool, and of course, the cable to power it up. Now, the way this works is, is you're gonna first and foremost, shave the area that you're going to be using it on. Now, this also has what's called sapphire cooling technology built into this device. That means it's going to be about 64 degrees instead of over 100 degrees of heat every time it flashes. That's actually kind of cool. Now, with this, it is, of course, uh, safe to use pretty much anywhere you want. Just course check your skin some people are allergic to laser lasers guys uh joanna what do you mean <laughs> uh with that of course guys it's the legend no 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 there's no legend here i uh, we're going to talk about it guys you're going to be able to use it first of course and foremost uh the first first few weeks you're going to use it multiple times a week that then for week four on, you're going to use it a couple times a week. Then week six on, you're going to use it about once or twice a month. That's it. Now with this, it does, of course, only work on certain hair and skin tone. Unfortunately, dark hairs is where it's at. Light hairs, not so much. Yeah, yeah, it's de it's definitely me. Uh, yeah, it's definitely me. I'm definitely here uh, possibly for another few minutes. I don't know. What's up? How you doing this morning? <laughs> I got a message from the boss man said to go on as early as possible. So I did. 
Oh, uh, IPL Laser Hair Removal Tool also has a $20 clippable coupon with this product. Uh, so if you guys need, don't shave your hands over your keyboards like I did to do this. Also put the glasses on. It's quite important. It's lasers. You don't want the laser to flash in your eye. You might want to go blind then. Oh. You definitely, definitely. So like I said, guys, week one through three or week one through four, about three treatments per week. Uh, week four through six, about two treatments per week. And then week six on, one to two times per month, and you're golden. That's all it takes. That's it. You don't have to worry about it. And you're going to see the decrease in hair. Now, I laugh about it because I still have a ball patch on my arm from this device. That's right. It's still bald. It's starting to finally grow back, which is kind of cool, but it's still bald right there. Now, also, make sure you take the plastic off the tip of that uh, right here in this video. You're going to notice the plastic was still on, and I start to use it. It's going to flash, and then the video jumps to where I realized that the plastic was on there. Uh, once you're done, you're good to go, and you're up and running, and you got that hair removal system going on. Uh, what do we have up next? I think a fire blanket. Not me video. Definitely not me. One Jackie from Dragon Blogger here to take a look Jackie. at these first response fire blankets. Now, as you can see, it comes in a two pack, and the whole point of them is to basically cut off oxygen. Um, you know, you can either put it on the fire like to suffocate it, or you have the option of putting it on your body to um, basically survive a fire, potentially, you know. Um, but let me show you how they work and then we will try some things. So all you do is open the Velcro, pull it out. Here is the fire blanket itself. Let me get a little more zoomed out here. Yeah. Now it is super lightweight. It's 40 now inches. What I need? 40 inches. The best part about things like this is that they never expire. Kind of like Wait, fire only 40 it's inches do kind of like all of those things it is very large as you can see oh, i need something longer than that cool on the camera you know but it is built with things to obviously protect against fire now um let me kind of take the camera down and we will attempt to demonstrate so we are going to do a nice little um test <laughs> with this the whole point is that this should suffocate fire this is a nice little candle so in theory it should suffocate the flame and turn it out so let's see and as you could see there it went obviously it does leave a mark as you would expect it is fire but it did put the candle out as you can see it quickly Jackie did a fire puts that out you know obviously left a little mark but it didn't even come through the other side I mean, I mean, you can see it, of course, with the right angle and lighting, but it clearly did not burn any part of this and the candle went out. Right, cool. So that is pretty much it. That is the Cobra Mart first response fire blanket. I'm Great idea. I'm going to bring these camping with me. I do live in you Colorado. It is very important to keep fires under control in this state even when you are allowed to go with fire. Um, so having this nearby is a... So guys, if you need a little blanket right there, Matt, Mart Cobra fire blanket for your home safety. Uh, four pieces of these in that kit, about 10% off, of course, with that. Now, for those of you that just want to wear a wearable blanket instead of a fire blanket, well, we got the bed shirt right here. Then Everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you another amazing hoodie blanket from bed shirt. This thing is nothing short of absolutely amazing and absolutely soft. It's so comfortable. I love the kangaroo pouch that it has. Four pockets in the front. Now, it does look a little wrinkle here. That's because it comes vacuum sealed. So since I just took it out of the vacuum yeah, ceiling, it looks a little wrinkle. But it is super soft, super fantastic. Get rid of those wrinkles. Just take one.
quick trip to the dryer let it tumble around in there on I'm low good. heat for a little bit and it'll knock those wrinkles right out but this I thing just is put super soft, on super solid. fantastic i love the little robe style tie off that it has in the back which i'll show you how to tie it off in the next scene when i get to dance around and act a little goofy with my dog shiva so here's that i'm just having a little fun this thing is super fantastic i absolutely love it um you rouge, can huh? tie it off to make sure that it stays kind of tight and not loose around the the midsection and of course as you can see it has those really cool tiles so if you're looking for a really awesome hoodie yeah you know, it does come in multiple sizes and colors guys so if they want one for the kids they do have them and they even have a larger one for bigger people so they do have multiple sizes of course with this about 20 percent off great little piece nonetheless uh bed sure we use a lot of bed shirts products around here i definitely do so how's everybody's weekend starting off yeah He's all excited about dancing around. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, sometimes I'm excited too. Like my new hat. I got my new hat on. Of course, I have an eye problem today. I have something in my eye. That's why you guys are seeing me rub my eye. Unfortunately, I think I have a hair or something stuck inside my eye. Just don't have time to walk away and get it out. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna move on to some flashlights, guys, and flashlight holders. First, we're gonna talk about the Wubin E7 headband uh, that works with the Wubin E7 that we're gonna show you. Now, the Wubin E7 headband you have is your a little e headband for your flashlight. Now, we actually have the Wubin E7 sitting here inside this video as well. This headband is actually a cool little piece. It can fit on your head and will allow you to strap to your head, and that's just it. But it's meant just for the E7 flashlight. Now, the E7 flashlight's a beautiful flashlight. Now, with this, of course, very adjustable and very friendly to use it and connect up. You literally slide the light into it, and it's going to connect up. Uh, no, no, I already know what's in my eye. I I tend to get uh, eye, eyelashes in my eye a lot for some reason. Don't know why, but I tend to get them like sometimes the, it's always on the bottom of the eye. <laughs> I just haven't had time to get it out. I have a tendency to get eyelashes in my eye. Now with it, of course, guys, connect it up, strap it up, and you can use the flashlight with the headband easily very well. It's like a 10% off. It's literally $8, $8.99 for this headband. The headband works well with the flashlight. Flashlight is also a purchase I would recommend because this flashlight is a nice flashlight. Uh, this is a bright, usable flashlight that's rechargeable. The Wubin E7 is about 1800 lumens brightness. That's right, 1800. And it is quite, quite bright. The Wubin E7, well, we can talk about it. It's a mini flashlight that's going to do well for a lot of people. Uh, it has multi modes with this one. Now, the Wubin E7 multi modes can do multiple pieces. First and foremost, your standard light. It's got uh, six modes with the EDC. It is IPX8 waterproof. You guys can literally use this underwater and not have to worry about it, right? It is a Type C rechargeable flashlight, which is actually kind of cool. Now, the modes 1800 lumens brightness, it's going to give you about uh, 132 meters uh, beam distance, 60 hours of max runtime on low light setting, uh, one meter drop protection. I, of course, IP68, which is your IP8 water resistance, 175 degree of a light throw with this. Now, the neutral white is about 6,500K coloration with this one. It is a dual beam, so the dual beam is going to throw out there a lot farther than some of the others. Your six lightness brightnesses, low, medium, high, super bright, SOS, and flash mode. So it can do flash with this. Now, to charge it, you guys can plug it into a power bank, wall plug, whatever you want. It's, of course, going to do that. Now, the Type-C fast charger means it can actually charge quicker to give you that 60 hours of runtime without a problem. $23.99 for this is actually a really good deal. I definitely recommend getting that in the headband. You have the multi-purpose uses and actually have everything you need. It's a cool one. I actually like that. Great little flashlight. Nice price point. Now we have another Wubin. This is going to be the X3. This is uh, their Owl keychain. This is like Owl-like looking 
keychain. Hey everyone, I made the Decade board with Decade with Dragon. Wuba X3 PDC. Now we can go into this and talk about it right there. It is, of course, a wireless charging capable flashlight. The head does and can move positions. So it can actually swap the direction it's looking at or the beaming off of. Now we don't need him talking because, well, let's be honest, I've actually got the same product. How are you doing? Good evening or morning or whatever you want to call it. Now this one is, of course, only IP65 waterproof. Uh, it does have 10 modes of lighting. It does also have a Type-C lanyard that can also charge it with a Type-C plug. Now, 700 lumens means you're going to be at 102 meters of distance of light. Now, the white light's going to be about, uh, the white light is going to do, uh, you know, 1 LM, uh, white light 50 LM, white light 150 LM, and, of course, white light 700 LM. Then it's got red light, strobe, and, of course, SOS, but it also lights up the whole body blue on top of that if you want it. The wireless charging is kind of cool. It does have a charging uh, base if you guys want to put it in a base to charge it or throw it on a wireless charging disc to do that as well. Now, the connectability or the lanyard can, can actually strap to your keychain, which is cool as well. It's super small. It's about two and a half inches long by maybe a one and three quarters inches wide. Now, there's one of your charging docks. There's your that lanyard. That lanyard comes apart, and it's actually a USB-C to USB-A connection. So it does have, of course, a cable that's on that lanyard. So the lanyard is not just a lanyard. It's also a charging cable. So maybe you want to charge your phone or some other devices. That lanyard has that cable built in. Now, this is comes in, like, I think six different colors from white to black to black to black. I think... Um, Blue plus black, white, and blue plus black, and then so on, and first vice versa. Bunch of different pieces for this. The Wubin X3 Al EDC. Now, it's a great one. It's actually a nice, simple one. Of course, right here, he's going to start using it as a flashlight. Has a display, it tells you the guys the charge rate, what's left of the charge, and everything. Once you start tapping it, it's going to start doing different modes. Depending on if you hold it down, it's going to go into solid light. Double tap, it'll go into different lighting, and of course, triple tap, and so on, and so on. And that's how you guys are going to change those light settings. Do read the instructions on the Wubin, because the Wubins are a little bit tedious on how or which pattern they go from. Super bright light, though. And of course, there's your strobe, there's your strong flashlight. Uh, what I like to call turbo mode with that. Now we got one more Wubin. This is going to be the G2, probably me video. Nope. You're looking at the Wubin G2 keychain flashlight. I actually have this here an aluminum shell flashlight that has a really, really bright LED on it for being how small it is. You have on the top of it is I where you also have the USB it, charging port as well as the power on button to switch it through its various light modes. And of course, as you can see, there's the USB charging point. You charge it, battery lasts a long time. You know, you keep it on your keychain, just take it off to charge it every once in a while in between uses. Great way to find like the keys and the door lock if it's super, super dark at night or you need to see something. But here's the three brightness settings. Now, guys, this is 500 lumens, three different brightnesses. That's just pretty much what you have with this. It's a pocket keychain flashlight. Literally put it on your keychain and have a flashlight with you on your keys so you don't have to worry. It's a great little product, nice little item. Wubin does a really, really fundamentally well done with their stuff i love wubin they have a lot of different options for you guys out there with that now bunch of cool flashlights bunch of different cool products and amazing deals guys now for that guys don't forget to hit that follow button because well if you can't see that we're live then you won't know that we're here now with it of course these videos are always on our amazon page so you guys can watch them again later and see these products you guys can also look at the through the carousel and, of course, click the products. It'll take you straight to the product page uh, with that being said. Now, with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday because, well, that's the last product I had for you today. And I'm going to actually take my earbud out because I don't need it no more. And I'm going to charge my earbuds as they were dying while doing that. Now, with it, of course, guys, I want to thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. And we'll see you guys on the next stream. Now, remember, I believe... Mrs. Dragon Blogger will be on TikTok later today with her first stream over there. 
Uh, with that, later, everybody. Have a great one.